Hi everyone, hope you're doing well from wherever you're watching this channel, depending on your time zone. Now, we have some members of parliament who are elected on ODM ticket, but they have been throughout working with William Samay Ruto. They have been busy supporting Ruto's agenda. They have been busy endorsing Ruto's presidency. And they have been also been so much busy campaigning for William Samway Ruto. But remember, they were elected in Azimio on ODM ticket. So ODM, uh, some time back, they had several meetings to try and uh, resolve this issue. But it failed because there was a central, uh, the central committee of the party. We had also another meeting. Uh, another committee, disciplinary committee of the party and the National Election Board of the party. All this, they tried to sort out the issue, but seemingly these individuals were so much determined <laughs> to continue with the agenda William Samuel Ruto. So today, the ODM party under the ABO chairmanship of um, John Buddy, the NEC has made a decision to allow the process of removing four members of parliament, a senator and some MCS from the party list. So they will no longer be members of ODM party. Among these individuals, we have Elisha Odiambo, that is Game MP. We have Caroline Omondi, uh, Super South MP. We have Gideon Ochanda, that is Bondo. We have Felix Odor, that is the Lango, Langata. Then we also have Tom Ojenda, that is the Kisumu Senator. Then we also have some nominated MCS who have been kicked out also. That is Caroline Opar. Then we have Kennedy Odwang and Peter Obaso. The NEC has resolved that these people should not be part of the ODM party because they are pushing for a different agenda which is not agenda to support the party. But they are busy working for the opponent. <laughs> That's what that is the news now uh, from the ODM party. So it's very clear. And uh, I want to quote, this is what John Buddy is saying here. Members facing allegation of violation of Article 11.1e of party constitution and section 14a of the political party act 2011 by openly associating with the with the, and the supporting activities of a rival political party and oppose lawful decision resolution made by the party organs be deemed to have resigned from the party so by that act alone it shows these people will be viewed as people who have already resigned from the party. So with that act, you know, once you are doing this, the impression that it, will, it is going to create is that you have resigned from the party because you are a championing for ideology that is not for the party. The party is hereby directed to commence the process of removing them from the registrar of the party. So the process has started they will no longer be members of the ODM party. So the question is, what next for ODM or what is ODM looking for in this matter by going to an action of expelling these people from the party? As we continue this discussion, just a quick request for those who are watching and you are not subscribed, please consider subscribing to our returning subscribers. I must say thank you so much. And again to all our viewers, please give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much and back this discussion. So it is clear. What we understand is that these guys are going to fight so hard in the corridors of the court to make sure that they are not losing their position as elected leaders. Because you know when the party has expelled you, the next position will be you lose your seat also. Because now you are not for the party. But we know these people will always rush to the court to get a court order to stop their removal, then continue 
to buy time because ruling on this matter it will take time. Kabla ikoja kuwa ruled, we have another election. So they are going to push for this. And as we're speaking now, these individuals are now calling their lawyers for the advice and the way forward. Hayo ndi mambo inaendelea sa hizi. Sasa hile kitu itawashikilia tu ni koti peke yake. These guys, kwanzia leo, watakua anatembea na court order kwa mfuku. That's the only thing they have as a tool for them to continue serving and enjoying their package in terms of salary and other allowances they get. Otherwise, kama inge kuwa hivo, hawa, bila tunonge hivo, inge kuwa wako nyumbani. Because, you know, through the court, they have made it even, even very hard to expel just a nominated member of parliament. To expel two mutu wa nominated is a huge issue. For example, for ANC party, they tried to remove uh, Godfrey Osothi. It was too hard to remove Godfrey Osothi. Alikuwa natambia na court order kwa mfuku. Mwengine ni yule mzungu wa nini? Kiambu. Hei pia, alitolewa na jubili party. <laughs> but what happened? He got a court order. In fact, ya alikuwa meenda kabisa. But through a court order, he survived and he served to the end. So these individuals are only having one way to end up a court. But then, what is ODM looking for? ODM is doing this as early as this to now start rolling out their replacement and looking for other individuals who is going to challenge them in the next election. Sasa kutaanza kuwa pale na shadow leadership in the concerns level. Janango ajipange, saizi atapata mpinzani, kutakuwa na mutu pale mwenye ataanza kupiga debe ya ODM, yeye akiongea, he will not be deemed as speaking for ODM or speaking as a member of ODM party. Hata leo nimeona Jalanga anasema ya kwamba itakuwa ngumu sana kwa kiongozi wa ODM kushinda Ruto kwa kura ambaye inakuja. You can't say that. Even let us assume that inaweza kuwa ni ukweli, but you cannot say that. That alone means you are endorsing your opponent. But the reality is that even in the past election Ruto did not defeat Raila Odinga. We had cooked numbers of the minority in IBC. The majority of commissioners did not agree with them. But imagine minority had their way and the majority had their say. Hayo ndio maajabu yenye. Sisi hatujawahi ona siku nyingine kwa nchi ya demokrasia. So, these individuals were here campaigning for Ruto. Now they are free to go and pitch, attend and campaign vigorously. William Ruto. I love to wonder in the next election, will they be rewarded? Because we know how what majority of them just got elected because of holding tightly, very tightly, kwa kote da Rela Odinga. They were holding on Rela Odinga's court so tightly and close to them for them to be elected. So through Raila Odinga's name, they got elected. Mutu kama jalangwa, na wengine tu hawa wengi. Wengine ni chama. Now in the next election, there will be nowhere Raila Odinga. Either the party or the name. They have now to prepare very early to go and face the opponent that will be coming from ODM party. Then from there, those who will be re-elected kwa hao watu wati tutawaishimu. Yule menya tapigiwa kura inja ya chama ya ODM na ashinda after being expelled. Huyo atakuwa ni mwanamuke tosha ama mwanaume tosha kwa wana bawa majaribu hiyo njia. Otherwise, kama roto wale walipa vizuri ni sawa, wajipange, sobu za hizi ODM imeanza maandalizi sasa, they are now looking for a chance to disown these guys from the party completely. So that we can get, how we can get when we are by a chama. Now what we are going to do is we are going to get a chama of ODM. 
watakuwa wanaonekana kama wanaongea tu hao wenyewe kwa wenyewe because you can't come out the way Jalang was coming out in the name of ODM party speaking in support of Ruto that ile kwa inakuja hatutashinda Ruto unajua pale the image is that that is a member of part a member of parliament elected on ODM ticket sasa hiyo mambo haitakuwa ODM wanted to clean the house and those messes to clean out so they are doing deep cleaning <laughs> I don't know your views but that's the news for today thank you so much and see you in our next video